Hi, boys and girls. Let's get ready for our next book. It's How to Make a Shark Smile. We have two friends joining us tonight. Here we go. Oh boy. It was Ripple's first day in a new aquarium. She was excited to make some new friends. Ripple looked around for someone to play with, but the water was still and quiet. She saw electric eels with no zing. The neon fish had no glow, and even the seahorses weren't horsing around. All the animals looked scared and unhappy. Ripple saw a blowfish nearby and decided to ask why everyone was so sad. Hello there, she said with a smile. The blowfish began yelling, shark alert, shark alert, and puffed up like a balloon. Ripple realized the blowfish must think that she was a shark. Laughing, Ripple swam towards the bluefish and explained, I'm not a shark, I'm a dolphin. My name is Ripple, what's your name? Whew, the blowfish sighed, I'm Bob, I thought you were a snark. Who, Ripple asked? The biggest, meanest shark you've ever seen. I've heard he's eaten entire tanks of fish when he wasn't even hungry. Oh, yikes. Is that why everyone is so scared around here? Ripple paused for a moment and then said, I won't let a shark steal my happiness. Come on, let's play. What if a snark sees us? You're not scared because you're big, fast, and smart, but I'm just bite-sized fish trying to make it in this world. Oh, my friend, it's not my size or speed that makes me powerful or brave. It's my mindset. I believe that my behavior matters, and today I choose to be happy. Bob was confused. How can you choose to be happy? Can I show you how it works in a game, Ripple asked. Okay, Bob agreed, but only if Snark doesn't see us playing. Actually, I want you to play the game with Snark, but I'll show you first. A game with Snark, Bob thought? All you have to do is look at my face for seven seconds and try not to smile, okay? Bob nodded and filled up his body with water to prepare himself. At first, it was easy for him not to smile, but then Ripple flashed him a big smile and started, started to blow bubbles. Bob burst out laughing. Ah, you see, Ripple said, happiness is hard to resist. When you see someone else smile, it makes you want to smile too. I call it the Ripple Effect. When you believe that you can make a difference, you can change the world around you. That's amazing, Bob said. I've got to try this game out with my other friends. He swam over to the seahorses to try out his new trick. Then the seahorses started to teach the neon fish. Pretty soon, the whole tank was smiling and laughing. That is until Snark appeared. What's all this laughing about Snark's hissed, flashing his big pointy teeth? The other fish froze in fear. We're playing, Ripple said with a smile. Do you want to play too? Snark frowned with disbelief. Sharks can't play. We're born to be mean. You can play. Happiness is a state of mind. It's a choice up to you, Ripple answered. How about we make a deal? If we can make you smile, we all get to play till our heart's content. If we can't, then everyone in the tank will stop having fun forever. What do you think? A murmur spread across the crowd. Snark sneered with confidence and nodded. It's a deal. Ripple winked at Bob and the blowfish nodded back. Okay, Bob explained. All you have to do is look into my eyes for seven seconds. I'll try to get you to smile and we'll see if you can keep a straight face. If you can't, I win. Bob swam up to Snark and looked him in the eyes. He was tempted to run away, but he realized this was his chance to make a difference. Without a moment to lose, Bob burst into the biggest, cheesiest, happiest grin you've ever seen. At first, Snark was confused by Bob smiling at him. No one ever smiled at sharks. But after a few seconds, he started to feel very uncomfortable. It felt like a bubble inside him was trying to rise to the surface. He tried everything to stop it. He squinted his eyes shut, tucked in his tail, and sucked in his tummy. Oh, no. I think I might... Suddenly, an explosion of bubbles escaped from his mouth. He made an odd sound like a hiccup and a sneeze combined. Surprised, Snark started laughing. Snark laughed so hard that the entire tank broke out in giggles. Outside the tank, 
tourists started to snap pictures and smile as they watched. A shark, a blowfish, and a dolphin laughing and playing together. This would go down in history books. When Snark finally caught his breath from laughing, he put out his fin to give Bob a high five. Wow, that was amazing, Snark said. I guess sharks can have fun if they choose. Ripple's effect on the tank could be felt from that day on. By making a choice to be positive, she spread happiness to others and made it easier for them to choose happiness too. The end. <laughs>